ever found yourself captivated by the intriguing tales unfolding behind the scenes of classic Hollywood movies? Well, buckle up, because today we're delving into the 1945 film Saratoga Trunk. This classic has a lot more to offer than meets the eye. It's a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and downright sad facts. So keep your eyes peeled for the unexpected twists. Now, let me throw a couple of questions your way. When was the first time you watched this movie? And do you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor from the cast? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear your take. But wait, there's more. We want to know your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the film. Did it leave you in stitches, shock you to the core, or perhaps tug at your heartstrings? Your stories are the real gems, so don't be shy, spill the beans. Stay tuned for more intriguing insights into this classic. The stories behind the scenes are as captivating as the film itself. And of course, we want to hear your side of the tale in the comments below. Ready for the journey down memory lane? The show awaits! Released in 1945, the impact of Saratoga Trunk on the world of cinema is undeniable, leaving an enduring legacy that resonates even today. Directed by Sam Wood and based on Edna Ferber's novel, the film stands out for its compelling narrative, memorable characters, and adept storytelling. The movie explores complex human relationships against the backdrop of post-Civil War America, skillfully weaving a tale of love, betrayal, and resilience. Navigating a changing society and personal struggles, the characters captivate the audience with a rich tapestry of emotions and an authentic portrayal of challenges during that tumultuous period. Saratoga Trunk broke away from conventional narrative structures of its time, offering a fresh perspective on historical dramas. Its portrayal of strong, independent female characters challenged stereotypes, paving the way for future cinematic endeavors. The film's relevance today lies in its exploration of timeless themes, struggles against societal norms, the pursuit of individual identity, and the resilience of the human spirit. It remains a testament to the enduring power of well-crafted storytelling that transcends its temporal setting. Ingrid Bergman and Gary Cooper, integral to the film's success, left an indelible mark on their careers. Their performances added depth and authenticity to the characters, contributing to the lasting impact of the movie. The chemistry between the lead actors, coupled with evocative cinematography, solidified its place in cinematic history. In conclusion, the impact, legacy, and enduring relevance of this cinematic gem are rooted in its ability to transcend the confines of its era. Its exploration of human emotions, societal challenges, and individual resilience make it a timeless piece of storytelling that captivates audiences today. Warner, recognizing the potential cinematic allure of Saratoga Trunk, shelled out a hefty sum of $175,000 to secure the rights to the novel. The film adaptation, with its gripping scenes and intriguing storyline, promised to captivate audiences. As the cameras rolled, Gary Cooper took center stage, his descent down the hotel stairs adding an air of mystery to the unfolding narrative. Curiosity peaked, he inquired about the unusually loud cat meows echoing in the background, a moment perfectly complemented by music with a distinct feline vibe. Amidst the glamour of Hollywood, the production faced the challenges of wartime rationing, cleverly addressing them in the New Orleans market scene. To adhere to historical accuracy, fake vegetables made their debut, a subtle nod to the constraints imposed by the era. The film's commitment to authenticity allow would viewers to immerse themselves in a bygone time, experiencing the trials and tribulations of the characters within the historical context. Saratoga Trunk, as a cinematic endeavor, manages to keep it real while navigating the intricacies of storytelling within historical boundaries. The allure lies not just in the characters' journeys, but also in the rich tapestry of the period expertly woven into the screenplay. It's a testament to the filmmaker's commitment to delivering an engaging and authentic experience, showcasing the challenges faced by the characters against the backdrop of historical accuracy. As he navigates through the enthralling world of Saratoga Trunk, one can't help but marvel at how the film manages to strike a balance between drama, history, and the subtle nuances that make cinematic storytelling memorable. The result is a narrative that resonates with audiences. Produced between late February and late June 1943, the 1945 film Saratoga Trunk faced a delayed release due to the saturation of war-related films during that period. The decision to push the debut aimed to ensure its distinctiveness amid the overwhelming war-themed productions. 
Italian censorship granted Visa Weni 503 on December 2, 1946, marking an important milestone for its international distribution. This clearance facilitated entry into Italian cinemas, expanding its reach beyond the initial release. Noteworthy is the extensive use of over 150 stuntmen in scenes depicting the intense battle for control of the railroad trunk line. This commitment to authenticity in portraying the struggle for possession added a visceral element to the narrative, emphasizing the challenges faced by the characters. The production navigated the complexities of wartime challenges, aligning with the historical constraints of the era. The dedication to realism is evident in the use of fake vegetables in the New Orleans market scene, a subtle nod to wartime rationing. As audiences engage with the film, its ability to seamlessly integrate drama, history, and nuanced storytelling becomes apparent. This cohesive approach provides a genuine and engaging experience, allowing viewers to immerse themselves in the characters' trials set against the backdrop of historical accuracy. In conclusion, released in 1945, but filmed during the pivotal years of World War II, Saratoga Trunk stands as a testament to the filmmaker's commitment to authenticity in storytelling. The use of practical elements like stuntmen and symbolic details like fake vegetables underscores the dedication to capturing the essence of the era. In the film, Cleo is seen sipping a modern version of the drink known as Peach Bellini, which can be prepared with either sparkling or still wine. Warner Brothers had considered Lena Horne from MGM for the role of Cleo, but MGM declined to loan her out. This decision is noteworthy considering MGM's later choice not to cast Horn as Julian Showboat, a role that involved a mixed-race character married to a Caucasian man. For the movie's costumes, Warner Brothers acquired Susan Dreer Volkmer's entire wardrobe, comprising 30 dresses ranging from 1880-1910. The collection included garments made in Paris, like a morning outfit, a cream-colored wedding gown of princess lace, a black satin hostess gown, a white broadcloth suit, and a navy blue suit. It remains uncertain if these garments featured as costumes in the film. This attention to wardrobe details, alongside the film's portrayal of historical accuracy, aligns with the overall commitment to authenticity in storytelling. The inclusion of specific items and considerations, such as Lena Horne's casting and the acquisition of period costumes, sheds light on the meticulous approach taken during the production of Saratoga Trunk. It's a reminder of how every aspect of the film was carefully curated to create an immersive experience for the audience. Studying the 1909 arrival of the Mississippi steamer Bald Eagle provided the filmmakers of the 1945 film with crucial technical insights. To cast the role of Cleo Dulane, screen tests were conducted with Anne Sheridan, Eleanor Parker, and Tamara Talmanova. Meanwhile, the consideration of Ethel Waters for the role of Angelique added another layer to the casting decisions. The meticulous attention to historical accuracy extended beyond the narrative as the filmmakers delved into real-life events and carefully assessed potential cast members. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the thorough process undertaken to bring the characters to life on the big screen. Such considerations underscore the commitment to authenticity in the film's production, offering audiences a genuine glimpse into the world of Saratoga Trunk. Lenore Aubert emerged as the second choice for Cleo Dulane, a role initially considered for Olivia de Havilland and Errol Flynn. Scheduling conflicts with the latter pair led to their rejection of the project. The shortage of stuntmen during the war prompted the recruitment of New York-based stuntmen, including Bob Oren, for the final brawl scenes. Jack L. Warner, the executive producer, acquired the novel rights with intentions of casting de Havilland and Flynn. However, conflicting schedules reshaped the casting, leading to Aubert's eventual selection. In the backdrop of wartime challenges, the film's production faced scheduling conflicts that shaped its casting choices and the recruitment of stuntmen. Lenore Aubert stepped into the role initially considered for de Havilland and Flynn. The scarcity of stuntmen during the war compelled the inclusion of New York-based performers like Bob Oren in the final brawl scenes. Jack L. Warner's acquisition of novel rights aimed for a different casting vision, highlighting the dynamic challenges faced during the film's production. The decision-making process behind the casting of Cleo Dulane involved Lenore Aubert as the second choice after de Havilland and Flynn declined due to scheduling conflicts. Wartime shortages of stuntmen led to the recruitment of New York-based stuntmen, including Bob Oren, for the film's intense brawl scenes. 
Jack L. Warner's initial vision for the film, intending to star de Havilland and Flynn, shifted due to scheduling conflicts, shaping the eventual casting of Aubert in the lead role. The intricacies of casting choices and the challenges posed by wartime shortages are evident in the selection of Lenore Aubert as Cleo Dulane. Initially envisioned with Olivia de Havilland and Errol Flynn, the casting shifted due to scheduling conflicts. Wartime scarcity of stuntmen prompted the recruitment of New York-based performers such as Bob Oren for pivotal brawl scenes. Jack L. Warner's acquisition of novel rights reflected an initial casting vision, but practical challenges during wartime reshaped the film's dynamic production. To round up, the casting of Lenore Aubert, the recruitment of New York-based stuntmen, and the initial vision of de Havilland and Flynn for Saratoga Trunk provide insights into the challenges and adaptations during the film's production.